Welcome to our channel, Improve Your English. In today's video, Julia shares her successful story of learning English and becoming fluent. We're going to learn some interesting vocabulary and expressions from Julia's story, so get ready to practice and improve your own English speaking and listening skills. Listen carefully, I went to London. Hello, I'm Julia. I'd like to share my English learning journey. It began in high school with an English teacher, Mr. Smith from England. Despite my basic English skills, I was eager to improve. Mr. Smith's classes, filled with tales about England and the UK's history, were captivating. After Mr. Smith returned to England, we stayed connected through emails. I committed to daily English practice, focusing on reading and writing. However, speaking and listening remained challenging. After university, I enrolled in an English language course in London. One day, I visited Mr. Smith. He lived with his wife and their two-year-old daughter, Lily. As I was sharing my struggles with Mr. Smith, Lily, engrossed in her cartoons, tried to say something about the cartoon. Mr. Smith couldn't understand her as she was just beginning to speak. Mr. Smith sat down with Lily to watch the cartoon and, after figuring out what she was trying to say, he guided Lily to repeat after him until she could pronounce the words correctly. This moment was a revelation for me. It made me realize that learning any language starts with listening and imitating how native speakers talk, much like children learning to speak. Once we can mimic their pronunciation accurately, we can understand them better and they can understand us. Inspired by this, I started practicing English by imitating characters in movies and TV shows. I listened to them attentively and repeated words until I could pronounce them correctly and clearly. Then I moved on to short sentences and eventually longer ones. Within three months, my pronunciation had significantly improved. After a year, my English accent was almost indistinguishable from a native speaker's. Since then, I've been speaking English fluently and confidently. Sometimes I even dream in English. People I met often assumed I was born and raised in England. They were amazed when I shared my language learning journey. So what I want to convey is that learning English isn't too daunting if you know the right ways to practice. The key is to listen carefully and repeat after the speaker. You need to listen a lot and practice speaking by mimicking native speakers. Start with clear pronunciation of words, then move to short sentences, and finally to longer ones. Remember, practice makes perfect. Interesting vocabulary and expressions. Before we practice our speaking skills, Let's learn interesting English words from a lesson we've just covered to improve our English. Despite, used to show that something happened or is true, although something else might have happened to prevent it. For example, despite the rain, we still enjoyed the picnic. Eager, very excited and interested, impatiently desiring. For example, the children were eager to open their presents. Captivating, Capable of attracting and holding interest. Charming. For example, the movie was so captivating that I forgot about everything else. Committed. Feeling dedication and loyalty to a cause, activity, or job. Wholeheartedly dedicated. For example, he's very committed to his duties as a mentor. Enrolled. Officially registered or signed up. For example, she enrolled in the cooking class. Engrossed completely occupied or absorbed. For example, I was so engrossed in the book that I lost track of time. Figuring out the process of understanding or solving something. For example, after a lot of thought, I finally figured out the solution to the problem. Revelation, a surprising and previously unknown fact that has been disclosed to others. For example, the news came as a revelation to me. Imitating, copying or following as a model. For example, she learned how to cook by imitating her mother. Eventually, in the end, especially after a long delay, dispute, or series of problems. For example, eventually, she arrived at the party after being stuck in traffic for hours. 
indistinguishable, not able to be identified as different or distinct. For example, the twins were almost indistinguishable. Assumed, suppose without proof. For example, he assumed that he would pass the exam. Amazed, greatly surprised or astounded. For example, I was amazed at her knowledge of classical music. Convey, to communicate or express something. For example, the tone of his voice conveyed his anger. Daunting, seeming difficult to deal with in anticipation, intimidating. For example, climbing the mountain was a daunting task. Mimicking, imitating, especially in order to ridicule. For example, he was mimicking the actor's accent. Now it's time to practice. Repeat after Julia. Hello, I'm Julia. Hello, I'm Julia. I'd like to share my English learning journey. I'd like to share my English learning journey. It began in high school with an English teacher, Mr. Smith from England. It began in high school with an English teacher, Mr. Smith from England. Despite my basic English skills, I was eager to improve. Despite my basic English skills, I was eager to improve. Mr. Smith's classes, filled with tales about England. Mr. Smith's classes, filled with tales about England and the UK's history, were captivating. And the UK's history were captivating. After Mr. Smith returned to England. After Mr. Smith returned to England. We stayed connected through emails. We stayed connected through emails. I committed to daily English practice. I committed to daily English practice. Focusing on reading and writing. Focusing on reading and writing. However, speaking and listening remain challenging. However, speaking and listening remain challenging. After university. After university. I enrolled in an English language course in London. I enrolled in an English language course in London. One day, I visited Mr. Smith. One day, I visited Mr. Smith. He lived with his wife and their two-year-old daughter, Lily. He lived with his wife and their two-year-old daughter, Lily. As I was sharing my struggles with Mr. Smith. As I was sharing my struggles with Mr. Smith. Lily, engrossed in her cartoons. Lily, engrossed in her cartoons. Tried to say something about the cartoon. Tried to say something about the cartoon. Mr. Smith couldn't understand her as she was just beginning to speak. Mr. Smith couldn't understand her as she was just beginning to speak. Mr. Smith sat down with Lily to watch the cartoon. Mr. Smith sat down with Lily to watch the cartoon. And after figuring out what she was trying to say. And after figuring out what she was trying to say. He guided Lily to repeat after him. He guided Lily to repeat after him. Until she could pronounce the words correctly. 
until she could pronounce the words correctly. This moment was a revelation for me. This moment was a revelation for me. It made me realize that learning any language It made me realize that learning any language starts with listening and imitating starts with listening and imitating how native speakers talk, much like children learning to speak. How native speakers talk, much like children learning to speak. Once we can mimic their pronunciation accurately, once we can mimic their pronunciation accurately, we can understand them better and they can understand us. We can understand them better and they can understand us. Inspired by this, I started practicing English. Inspired by this, I started practicing English by imitating characters in movies and TV shows. By imitating characters in movies and TV shows. I listened to them attentively and repeated words. I listened to them attentively and repeated words until I could pronounce them correctly and clearly. Until I could pronounce them correctly and clearly. Then I moved on to short sentences. Then I moved on to short sentences. And eventually, longer ones. And eventually, longer ones. Within three months, my pronunciation had significantly improved. Within three months, my pronunciation had significantly improved. After a year, my English accent after a year, my English accent was almost indistinguishable from a native speaker's was almost indistinguishable from a native speaker's. Since then, I've been speaking English fluently and confidently. Since then, I've been speaking English fluently and confidently. Sometimes I even dream in English. Sometimes I even dream in English. People I met often assumed People I met often assumed I was born and raised in England. I was born and raised in England. They were amazed when I shared my language learning journey. They were amazed when I shared my language learning journey. So, what I want to convey So, what I want to convey is that learning English isn't too daunting is that learning English isn't too daunting if you know the right ways to practice. If you know the right ways to practice. The key is to listen carefully and repeat after the speaker. The key is to listen carefully and repeat after the speaker. You need to listen a lot and practice you need to listen a lot and practice speaking by mimicking native speakers. Speaking by mimicking native speakers. Start with clear pronunciation of words. Start with clear pronunciation of words. Then move to short sentences. Then move to short sentences and finally to longer ones, and finally to longer ones. Remember, 
Practice makes perfect. Remember, practice makes perfect. Hello, I'm Julia. I'd like to share my English learning journey. It began in high school with an English teacher, Mr. Smith from England. Despite my basic English skills, I was eager to improve. Mr. Smith's classes, filled with tales about England and the UK's history, were captivating. After Mr. Smith returned to England, we stayed connected through emails. I committed to daily English practice, focusing on reading and writing. However, speaking and listening remained challenging. After university, I enrolled in an English language course in London. One day, I visited Mr. Smith. He lived with his wife and their two-year-old daughter, Lily. As I was sharing my struggles with Mr. Smith, Lily, engrossed in her cartoons, tried to say something about the cartoon. Mr. Smith couldn't understand her as she was just beginning to speak. Mr. Smith sat down with Lily to watch the cartoon and, after figuring out what she was trying to say, he guided Lily to repeat after him until she could pronounce the words correctly. This moment was a revelation for me. It made me realize that learning any language starts with listening and imitating how native speakers talk, much like children learning to speak. Once we can mimic their pronunciation accurately, we can understand them better and they can understand us. Inspired by this, I started practicing English by imitating characters in movies and TV shows. I listened to them attentively and repeated words until I could pronounce them correctly and clearly. Then I moved on to short sentences and eventually longer ones. Within three months, my pronunciation had significantly improved. After a year, my English accent was almost indistinguishable from a native speaker's. Since then, I've been speaking English fluently and confidently. Sometimes I even dream in English. People I met often assumed I was born and raised in England. They were amazed when I shared my language learning journey. So what I want to convey is that learning English isn't too daunting if you know the right ways to practice. The key is to listen carefully and repeat after the speaker. You need to listen a lot and practice speaking by mimicking native speakers. Start with clear pronunciation of words, then move to short sentences, and finally to longer ones. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching our story about learning English. I hope it inspires you and shows that with dedication and practice, you can achieve great results. Keep practicing and stay motivated, and soon you'll find yourself speaking English more confidently. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Goodbye for now and happy learning.